I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for our main event. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round, scheduled for 10. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. If the shorter guy can get to the inside against the taller fighter, how can he do damage on the inside? What should we look for from him? Well, you remember when you were a kid and you walked downtown in Manhattan, you looked up at the Empire State Building, all those great tall buildings? Well, it's the same thing. You suddenly get inside and you look up and, wow, there's a tall building. Start breaking some windows. Halfway through round number one. Not hitting his mark. Oh, and a big right hand lands. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. He scored well after being hit himself. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Wow, is he defensively sound. Goes up top with the right hand. And he just holds on there. Body shot, body shot. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Keep doing what you're doing. Thunder's corner men really now play a big part in this fight. Their role is going to be critical to getting their fighter back mentally to where he was before this fight started. Because you can lose confidence quickly when you've been stunned like that. Looking good, looking good. All right, keep your hands up, all right? All right, you're doing fine. All right. All we need is water up there, that's it. You don't need that, no, throw that away. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. seconds to go here in this round. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Well, 
supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Nice work with the left hand. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. The end of the round is upon us, and now this fighter will hear some attaboys from his corner. He just got to his man good. He did, and he's feeling real good now, having that kind of round. But he also has to hear something else from his corner. Don't forget how you got to that point. Don't get intoxicated. Don't get drunk by the success of that one punch. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, how to... Listen, when he reaches in, let that right hand go, all right? Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Solid. Oh, he goes down hard, and now he's got a real problem ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. Able to dismiss it. Not able to connect with the uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Clean shot with the right. Nice block. He missed with that headshot. Parries that punch intended for the head. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And that's the end of round three. You can throw him off with some head look. That's it. Throw him off with head look. Where's your body work? Hit the body. All right, bang the head and the body. Upstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Over and over again, upstairs, downstairs. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the rounds. Thunder's making me question how his legs are right now. I'm not sure that he's all too secure and steady on those legs after that knockdown, just like he's tying up a lot here. Yeah, well, you don't have to wonder. You're saying you're not so sure he's secure. Well, he's telling you. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Uppercut. Uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. Thunder's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Keep working the jab. Good 90 good. seconds to go in round number four. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Thunder. Teddy, he did a 
smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Thunder's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. You got to watch the water in the corner. Too much. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. well up top he just missed that shot up top he's showing very good footwork he's showing fine big left hand he's trying to get some energy back and now he's tying up his opponent just wasting some minutes yeah it takes two to tangle though he's wasting minutes and his opponent's going along with it he's cooperating he shouldn't be he's gonna be sorry later when he recovers and he gets after him Solid left hand to the head. Not much action as he just ties up. Jab, jab. opponent landing an effective counter punch right there final 10 seconds of this fifth round this has been a very entertaining fight a little time to reflect here at the end of this round my thoughts being this i would really be surprised if we go to a decision here it just has that kind of feel to it yeah it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Don't worry about it. Get in your room. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. the halfway point of round number six. You're doing great. Keep working. Comes down. right back at him with a left hand. Huh. 
what I want to see. Keep doing what you're doing. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Well, that's yet another round that he won, and Teddy, he's in great shape. What, what were you hearing out of his training camp as to how he got so conditioned? Well, we were hearing that he was doing his road work, wearing knapsacks with 20 pounds of sand in him, running uphill. I mean, that's one of them. Also, instead of taking minute rest and sparring, he was taking 20-second, 30-second rest. It's showing right now. Good, good, nice work. Listen, watch you go downstairs, then up. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Thunder showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Come on! Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Halfway through the seventh round. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. And lands and there's a clinch after clearly being damaged and a clinch that he needed very badly little head knocking with that right hand now his opponent got away from that uppercut ten seconds to go into seven come on keep focus Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, hook. You get caught up. You're getting caught up and fighting his way. You're fighting. As we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard, and it is much the same. All these rounds now starting to just blur together. They're taking the same exact form, one guy dominating the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not going to change. All the emphasis, all the burden now is on the opponent. He's got to change something. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Thunder's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there, be creative. And now he's targeting upstairs. Come on, 
Thank you. The halfway point of round number eight. Thunder's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Come on, kid, focus. Right to the body. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Good look at right hand after he got hit. And round eight comes to an end. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Right. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring. He's in control. Nice round. That was good. Keep that up, and we have this one. You got to watch the water in the corner. Come on. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Thunder's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but... As he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting countered. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Good right hand. Thunder's proving to be elusive. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Keep moving. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. You got this one. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement. So elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. And that's the end of round nine. Thunder's in a tough spot right now, Teddy. I don't know really what the answer is for him because he hasn't shown me enough to prove that he can change the way this fight is going. He's down bad. On my scorecard, too. And right now, he's got to do something that you hate to be in this position, but he's in that position. You have to take chances. You have to risk it all now to be able to catch up. You're going to have to let him go or you're going to lose the fight. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. Jab, jab!
there's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you find a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Nice work. Nice work. Final minute of the final round. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Get in there. Keep working the body. Keep moving. Back and forth exchange. Finish with the hug. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Thunders almost out of it there. He was stunned. This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you know. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us, and enjoy the rest of your night.